Hey you guys, I'm back, and I know it's been, uh, it hasn't been that long, but um, yeah, again, I had my little night, you know, my issue with my grandmother, and that's still going really well, I'm still talking to her, so I'm really happy. Um, I apologize in advance for my makeup, it probably looks like ass, I like rushed and did it, I didn't have a lot of, you know, time, so it's, you know, whatever. Um, there are a couple things I want to talk about today, actually, and um, one of them is passing. And I know that a lot of trans people don't like using the word passing because it implies that you're trying to blah, 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 blah. Okay, we get it. We get why well, you don't like the word. But to save time, I'm just going to say passing as a cisgendered woman. I'm just going to say passing. Like, that's totally too much. Okay. So, my thing with whole, the whole passing thing is, okay, when I go out, sometimes, yeah, I pass. Okay. But not, no trans girl passes 100% of the time. There's just always going to be someone who can fucking tell. And the other night, I was at the grocery store. And, um, I, I think this bitch clocked me, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this bitch clocked me, but I think a lot of trans women are paranoid about this, like, someone can be looking at me, and I don't know if they're looking at me because I'm hot, or because they can tell I was born male, you know what I mean? Like, you never really know why someone is looking at you, and so I'm just like, this bitch is clocking me, this bitch is fucking clocking me. So, immediately I go into my Victoria's Secret fucking runway walk. Because I'm just like, oh, bitch, I don't care. I'm still hot. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, I get all defensive. And that doesn't help because I'm fucking a five, eight, five foot eight bitch model walking through the grocery store. Like, what girl does that? You know, no one does it. But, and so, I don't know. Maybe other trans girls can comment. The whole passing thing, it's very um, frustrating because I feel like no matter how good I do my makeup or how good my hair looks or how good my outfit is, there's always going to be that person who can tell. And I know it shouldn't matter, but let's be real people. It matters to, especially to younger girls, it matters. It matters to any girl. Every girl wants to just blend in and be, you know, normal. But um, hopefully one day I'll get to the point where I don't care if, you know, they can tell or not. And I'm sorry, I always play with my hair, I know, but I can't help it. Um... Eventually, one day, I'll probably get to that point that I just don't don't give a fuck, but uh, I'm not there yet, so eventually. Let's see what else is new. Um, as you guys know, I'm on hormones now. Uh, things with that are going good. Um, boobs are coming in. They hurt. <laughs> Pretty standard stuff. Um, my leg hair has decreased a little bit, but not a lot. Like, a lot of girls said, oh, it decreased. So oh, my God. Should I re-record this video? No, I'm not going to. I'll just let you see that little blooper. I don't even care. I'm, okay, so my computer's on my lap right now. Like, it's, it's like, it's like, on my lap right now. And, oh, well, that was slutty. And, um, like, it's, I have it far out to get, like, the full, you know, look or whatever. And it, like, tipped backwards. So, oops, sorry. <laughs> it's one of those days. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, the hormones. Other than that, you know, I've cried a little bit. I eat a lot more about it. Um, the other thing I want to talk about was boys. Um, and not dating boys or, you know, boys that you're, you know, interested in or boys that are interested in you. I'm talking about your friends. Um, one of my friends took me to a straight bar and, um, her friends knew, but they were very nice to me. Don't get me wrong. They were super nice and super accommodating and it was lovely. But, I always feel awkward when hanging around with cisgendered males just as friends. Like, I'm not trying to sleep with them or anything, but because they're afraid to be your friend. Like, there was this one guy. This is, this is broccoli. She wanted to be over there. She wants in this. But, um, so one of them was like, yeah, you're like such a cool girl, blah, 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 you know? Um, and then I was like, oh, you know, right on, we can be friends, whatever. So I sent him a Facebook friend request, right? Nothing. I get ignored. Why? Because he told me he was scared. Well, that's not why he told me he ignored it. But, like, that night, he was going to buy me a drink, but he's like, oh, I'm just scared. Scared of what? We're just friends, dude. Like, it's not like you're trying to sleep with me. Like, calm down. You know? It, like, that shit gets on my nerves. I'm not hitting on you or anything like that. So, whatever. Let's see. Oh, also, shout out to uh, my girl, Nikki. She'll know who she is if she's watching this. And I think she watches, like, pretty much all of them. Um, Natalie, hi to you too. It was so nice talking to you on Facebook today. Um, oh, I did Bloomsday, you guys, which is this thing here in Spokane where you walk. And I walked with the drag queens, um, because I do perform with the drag queens. We walked seven miles in high heels in support of marriage equality. Because, you know, if I want to get married, 
I have to, it's technically a gay marriage because I don't want to cut my dick off. I mean, if I was willing to cut it off, I could get married, you know, lots of places. But seeing as how I just think I'll keep it where it is, um, my marriage would technically be a gay marriage. And, you know, I'm okay with being considered part of the gay community. I know a lot of trans girls aren't, but straight people are mean. Like, I find more acceptance amongst gay people and, you know, I'm happier there. But, um, God, I do a lot of but ums. Let me see what else I need to talk about. Um, oh, wow, that was a long, awkward pause. A gay baby was just born. Did you hear that? Have you guys ever heard that? Someone told me that for every awkward silence, a gay baby is born. So I was like, we all need to keep being quiet because the world needs more gay people. The world needs more trans people, for that matter. The world just needs more variant people, I think. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Ooh, boy, other boy issues. I was, as you, well, actually, you guys don't know, and I haven't talked about this, and I've been reluctant to discuss it because it was something that, you know, this guy might watch these, and I don't want him to, you know, know my super, super true feelings about it, you know, because some of it's pretty sappy, but um, I ended something, I wouldn't call it a relationship because it wasn't, but it was, um, it went on for a really long time, and, you know, I'm still dealing with it. Um, he was really a good kisser, though. I'll just say that. He was a really good kisser. Um... Maybe I'll go further into that later. I don't know. Maybe I need to drink and then come back and do another video. Because we all know how I get when I get drunk. And, oh, my God, my hair's all natty. Oh, this is new hair. Do you like it? It's darker than what I usually do. And it's um very, uh, it's like a lot bigger. And oh, it's bothering me right now because this, oh, oh, there we go. Boom. Okay. This is a very boring video, I'm sure, but I just thought I should make one because I hadn't made one in a while, and I talked to my friend Natalie. You guys need to subscribe to Natalie Sweetwine on YouTube if you haven't already. She's another awesome trans girl. She's gorgeous, and she's smart. I mean, I'm not book smart. Not at all, so so she's got me there, but um, you should check her out, and um, yeah, I will probably try to, I'm going to try to sit down and think of more topics. If you guys know anything you want me to talk about, oh, ooh, something I just thought of, something I just thought of. Haven't you guys seen the Mary J. Blige commercial, you know, where she's like, you know, I'm not going to sing, but, you know, she's talking about crispy chicken, fresh lettuce, you know. So many people are flipping out over that, and I'm going to need black people to calm the fuck down, okay? I'm half black. I am biracial. I don't look it, but I am, so I have every right to say this. Calm the fuck down. Everything is not racism. You turn, some black people turn everything into fucking racism. So the bitch is singing about chicken. Clearly, she signed a contract saying she would sing about chicken. It would not be that big a deal if a white person was saying about chicken, you guys are making a bigger deal out of her skin color than white people are. No one cares. She's singing. God, let Mary J sing. And now I'm going to go get a chicken snack wrap because I support Mary J Blige and I like chicken. And yes, I'm half black and I love chicken. I don't like watermelon that much. And I do love grape Kool-Aid. Whatever. Who cares? It's not because I'm half black. It's because they're delicious. Gosh, I hate when black people turn racist. Black people are always talking about racism. I'm sorry. Like, when I was in high school and the black boys would, um, like, get called out for doing something, which they were doing. They would be talking during a test or whatever they were doing. And they'd be like, oh, you're just calling me out because I'm black. No, bitch, they're calling you out because you were cheating on tests. It's not because you're black. Oh, it was, oh, it got all my nerves. I got so frustrated with that because it just bothered me because that's not why you're getting called out. You're getting called out because you're doing the, the, the wrong shit. And stop trying to use your race as a way to slide by. And don't get me wrong, I guess we've all done that. I've done the whole, oh, you're just saying that because I'm trans. But I've only done that like one time, okay? And it was a really bad day for me. They did it every day. So, yes, I'm going to go for now. Um, again, let me know if you guys want to hear me talk about anything. I'm probably not a really interesting person. But um, I will do it anyway. Um, and I will talk to all of you guys really, really soon. I'm trying to think what's coming up that might be interesting in my life. Oh, Something is coming up, but I will keep that for later. And I'm really excited about it. Like, I'm blushing, so I better go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.